far as why the collection has gotten this big, I have no idea why. From action figures and life-size replicas to comic books, autographs, costumes, you gotta get in the hole. Even a Star Wars pinball machine. Collector Tim Van Zyl has Star Wars memorabilia wall to wall, floor to ceiling. However, he will be the first to tell you that he doesn't have it all, but he does know when it all began. 1977. And the beginning, and there's gotta be an end. The, uh, the last count that we got was real close to 11,000 items, but that was months ago. From the moment the original Star Wars hit the screen, Tim says he was hooked. Tim's hunt for collectibles has taken him coast to coast and has also brought him face to face with many of the players. R2D2, Uncle Owen. That brought the space fantasy to life. There's my son at his very first show. His son, now 11, is also a big fan and says his two year old daughter is starting to catch on. Her favorite character is Yoda right now. He'll come up on the computer or the TV and it's always Yoda, 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 and she'll get your attention with it. I think I've got another fan coming. Tim confesses he will someday stop adding to his collection, but when asked why Star Wars, his answer mimics the countless others that have found joy in a drama far, far away. It's one of the only things that I can still go back, and when I watch it for the, you know, 957th time or whatever, I still feel like a kid. I can go back and feel like a kid again.